How was Raji as a friend? Raji as a friend was, I can say, in 30 years of my life in the film industry, I had only one friend, real friend. The friend on whose shoulders you could cry, and he could cry on your shoulders. I couldn't get any other friend in 30 years. Better than Raj Kapoor. And when I say this, you can imagine. When I, I have done no other friend in the industry. So he was the best. There were no moments of differences? Not particularly any moment of difference. We, we could. As a friend, we could quarrel some time, and uh, we could have a difference of opinion. But as far as the relationship is concerned, we never differed. The love always remained at the same degree and the same point. What did he expect of a friend? That he could share his uh, moments of his life, maybe his personal life, maybe his family life, maybe his professional life, and that give and take equally with the friend. It was not that he had only one-way traffic. It, the tra his, in life, it was two-way traffic. He was as good a giver, as good a receiver. Can you give me any incident which shows how good a friend he could be? No incidents, you know, as I've told you, that. There are thousands and thousands of incidents in our life that, uh, where we had a complete understanding of love and understanding and, uh, and feel for each other, which was always the same. And we could share the moments. We could share our problems. We could share our happiness. We could share our professional problems, family problems, everything. How was it to be selected for Sangam? Sangam, he was the maker of the film and uh, he wanted, actually, it uh, reminds me that I was working in Mother India. When he wanted to make this film with uh, himself, Madam Nargis and Mr. Dilip Kumar, and all the preparations were made. I don't know what happened. Mr. Dilip Kumar couldn't work, didn't work, something, something happened. And uh, I was working with Madam Nargis in Mother India. It was Madam Nargis who gave me the news that when Mr. Dilip Kumar has opted out, Mr. Raj Kapoor wants to make the picture with me. But Nargis ji refused. She said, I have refused because you are playing my son, so I can't play love, love scenes with you. So your chance of working in the film is not possible. I was very happy to know that a man like Mr. Raj Kapoor wanted me in his film. But I was very sad to know that on certain reasons, I cannot be in the film. Anyway, the time passed on. and. Uh, after a few years, when Madam Nargis got married, she settled down in life. One day, I recollect I was working in a studio, I think Moon Studio, for a film called Aska Panchi. It is 1959. After when my shot was over, I just walked out of the floor. And from the opposite floor, I saw Mr. Raj Kapoor walking out. He was shooting for his film, I think, Anadi. And uh, we came face to face, we wished each other. I still I remember he sat down on my, the bonnet of my car and uh, again he looked at me and smiled and he said, uh, should we make that film? Only this much he asked me. And I could understand what he means. I said, it's my player, please make it. And then he said, the evening of, after the pack up, let's go 
to RK Studio. We packed up at 7 o'clock in the evening. We together went to RK Studio to his famous cottage. And there we decided that we were going to make Sangam together. And um, we celebrated it also. He gave the news to his wife on telephone. I gave the news to my wife on telephone. And we are all very happy. And that's how it started. How did you celebrate? Celebrate as friends we had. We, we, we had a good time. We had a couple of drinks together. And that's what it is. How would he be at the cottage? Would he get nostalgic? Would he go into memories? Was he a man who loved his past? Yes, he used to go to his, uh, back to his memories uh, very often, but uh, not with, the, um, with hurt and all that. He was the person who lived every moment of his life and enjoyed it. He used to be sad for certain friends who have gone, who have left him. Even you have seen in his own interviews, he says, okay, my friends, my companions have gone, and I am on the way. And today, we are very sorry that he also has gone. Did he cry very easily because he was very emotional? He was very emotional, but I don't say that he could cry very easily, but when he used to cry, he meant it. In Sangam, what did you think of your role, Gopal? It's not my thinking, it is the thinking of the people who saw the film and who appreciated it, not here, all over the world. And I know it was a very pleasant joke between me and Raji. Wherever we used to go and people used to know, call my name first and shout my name first and he used to say, look, everybody calls you, nobody calls my name. I said, the film is made by you, not by me. <laughs> Was there ever a controversy about who should die in the film? The not party? at all, not at all. It was there in the script from the very beginning, from the day we started. But do you feel that you should have got the girl? No, I never felt. Never felt. The demand of the story, what is there in the picture, it was that, and he, he did it. He did it beautifully. Do you feel you should have got one more song or something? Not necessarily. Why? One more song would have not added anything more to my character. I have one complete song, then one, one song which three of us sing. I think it's more than enough. Could you talk about that song, Ye Har Dil Jo Pyaar Karega? How was it done in a studio? What was it like? It was done in an studio on the set. And uh, the beauty of that song is if you still want to see it, you see it, that every shot he has taken is a triangle. Every shot is a triangle. Suppose I am standing here, Vijanti is standing here, Raji is standing there. And if he walks to her, she walks to me, I go to that place. Again, it makes a triangle. So it is done so beautifully. Technically also, and uh, performance-wise also. And the song itself is a very beautiful song. Which song is this? Har dil jo pyar karega, wo gana gaega. The song, Dost Dost Na Raha. And that song, we had a little discussion and controversy also, that because I felt that the statement of that song, Dost Dost Na Raha, Pyar Pyar Na Raha, As Zindagi Hame Tera Itbar Na Raha, I felt it for the situation, it was little, contrived because uh, you he was singing that those those na raha so i was the friend how can you say those those na raha dost has given friend has given his beloved to you pyar pyar na raha the woman you love she have married so you got your love as zindagi hame tera aitbar na raha i i thought i told him i said i don't think this is a perfect, uh, you know, shikwa, a claim of yours for this situation. But he said, no. Let me picturize it, and you see the effect. And he created the effect because there was in the screen the two antras and one mukhra of the song. 
and both the antras he has pictureized on me and Vijanti Mala's affair shots. He has built up a montage of our relationship. So in that context, it became a very beautiful thing. Would you like to talk about Prem Patra Parkar? Prem Patra was my love song in the film, which was one of the most popular songs of the film, and it was very beautifully picturized. Lot of uh, today's style. If you recall or you want to see that song, then you will find only four to five shots of the entire film song. There is one long shot, you are just walking through the gardens and trees and flowers and I am singing. That's all, there is no jumping jacks and uh, no this filmy tricks and all that. But it looks so poetic, so realistic, so close to life. That was Mr. Raj Kapoor. Do you think he made running around trees into an art? I don't think that he made any films uh, where they are running around the trees, songs were there. He never liked this kind of uh, thing. His movements were very natural, very near to life. And that's why his films are accepted by any, 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 any man, maybe uh, any, any walk of life. Uh, with wholeheartedly, you know, they used to welcome his films because the man could live near you. Did you go for the European shooting? Yeah. Even though you weren't required? No, I was required. I was required for a week. But uh, I was there for 12 weeks because uh, he will not leave me. He said, no, don't go. I, I, I alone, I, I feel uh, I lost. So that, that is a friendship. So I, I remained with him all 12 weeks. What would you do after the shooting? Well, I used to go to the shooting every day with him, used to assist him, used to work with him in all the departments. If I am acting, then I am doing my job, otherwise I do, used to do other jobs. Maybe even uh, I am carrying our batteries and camera and our uh, sound machine. We all used to work, uh, including Mr. Rajput, we used to work like one unit, one family. And uh, nobody had the complex of this that, uh, oh, I'm a star or he's a producer or he's a director and nothing like that. In Paris, would you go out? Uh, yes, we, we used to go out every evening. We used to go out, all of us, the whole unit. We had a beautiful uh, luxury bus which used to pick us up from the hotel in the morning to our locations and then we come back and then we all wash and change and uh, dress up nicely and go to some clubs and restaurants and uh, for nice food and nice time, all together. Did the failure of Miranam Joker shatter him? Of course. It uh, shattered him definitely because uh, not only financially, emotionally. He, he used to be in love with this film and he used to feel that I am making the best film of a career which uh, I think he made. But somehow it didn't click at the box office, which gave him a big emotional jolt, financial jolt. So he was troubled for a little time. But again, he came out with flying colors. He immediately started Bobby and, uh, you know, the whole world knows what happened. Could you mention the word Miranam Joker in this answer? I mean, Miranam Joker put him into a depression. How would he face it? Face it, he used to be very disturbed and sad that he, he tried to make a beautiful film, the, you can say, the biography of a Joker who always makes people happy and laugh. But when he, uh, his personal life, how, how morose and sad he is, what is his problems is nobody in the world knows. And he did the job very well. And today, uh, you will be surprised to know that Man Am Joker is one of the biggest box office hits being shown in this country. What was his greatest strength as a filmmaker? His strength as a filmmaker was that he was totally a dedicated man, devotion, devotional man to his film, his work. He was sleeping, he was awake, he was eating, he was drinking, he was walking, he was talking, he was doing any damn thing. He used to live with his film all the time. 
and that was his dedication and devotion which he used to create those images on the screen which he used to dream in his mind and he could he could project those dreams very well on the screen which perhaps i don't think there is anybody else in this country who would have done better do you know which kind of films he like to see personally personally he could see any any kind of film i know any kind of film he could see but the only kind of film he could make was romanticism and human relationship beyond that he, he never uh, made the films and in that he could weave the human problems our problems of society today i i just few days back i was seeing his film shri 420 the problems which he has tried to tackle and show in that film about 30 35 years back would they the same problems we are facing today in our society so i can say that he was very much futuristic he could see what is there you see his jis desh mein ganga behti hai the problem of this uh, the decades surrendering he he did it much earlier than any 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 leader of this country thought so that kind of filmmaker he was he could visualize he could see and and any koi could portray on the screen what do you think about his woman in white woman in white white was a color which he liked the best because his philosophy was that white is the only color which can be changed into any color other colors can't be changed into any other color so he was in love with white so any 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 woman in his uh, life maybe his wife is always there in white he, he loved white flowers he didn't l- l- love any other flowers than white flowers and anything else okay thank you thank you, thank you.